making some turkey sausage. This has been my go-to breakfast. This, and then once it's done cooking, I'll crack two or three eggs into it so it'll cook with it. It is literally fire. I can't wait to show you what it looks like when it's done. It sounds kind of weird, but I promise it is literally so good. Basically, you cook the turkey sausage until it's about done, and then you just crack your eggs in there and then mix it all together. Then once it's done, it looks like this. So it's basically scrambled eggs with your sausage. And usually I'll cut the sausage into smaller pieces. So it's more of like a bowl situation, but this still looks perfect. Don't judge me, but I like to add a little bit of ketchup and it's just, it tastes really good. Okay, don't judge, but go make this for yourself right now. Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am back at it again with another work week in my life, working from home, y'all know the drill. But this week is special because I am going to be decorating for fall. I am so excited. When I'm recording this video, it is September 8th, it is Tuesday. So it's not quite fall yet, but I still plan on decorating. I think I need to take the puppy outside really quick, but then I'll come back and we'll do kind of a little plan with me just so I can tell y'all what I have planned for the week and what y'all can look forward to in the vlog. If you aren't already, be sure you subscribe down below. I post a new video every Tuesday and Friday, so enjoy the vlog. So as y'all see, I did do a little plan with me and I walked y'all through what I had planned for the rest of this week. Well, once I decorated and I vlogged it, I realized that if I added in the rest of my week, this video would literally be so long and I'm not sure if y'all would have liked that. So I ended up just turning this video into kind of a decorating slash haul video because I did end up going to get more decorations. Hopefully y'all don't mind. If y'all want a longer vlog in the future, just comment down below and let me know. But hopefully y'all enjoy me decorating. Little update, I'm done with work. I just cleaned up the house. Well, kind of still in the process of cleaning up the house. But I tried going ahead and getting all of our fall Halloween decorations down. We keep them in the, our attic. But the previous owners, I should have showed y'all when I was up there. Basically, this is our attic. Our stairs open this way. So when you go up the stairs, there's nothing over here. Like you have to cross over there. So you literally have to step across this entire opening to get everything that's over there. Our Halloween and fall decorations are literally sitting like right here. But I'm super scared of heights and I tried to be a big girl and go up there and try to get them myself. But I was too scared to cross the giant opening without at least someone standing underneath me just in case I fall, even though I don't think they'd really be able to do anything. So I was only able to get two decorations. I got these from Goodwill. This one says the witch is in. Got this for $2.92 at Goodwill. And then this little ghost, I also got this for $2.92 at Goodwill. So it's just kind of like spooky decor and I think I'm gonna put these outside I can go ahead and do that but that's literally the only fall Halloween decorations that I could get down by myself so hopefully Justin will get them down for me when he gets home I couldn't get the little stickers off perfectly I even tried to take water and a paper towel and kind of scrub them off but I ended up just putting them right here in front of our driveway not many people are gonna see them unless they come in but I think I like them there so far. Justin got home and got down the decorations for me. So now we can go through it really quick. Bad lighting and a bad angle, but I just wanted to quickly do a little haul, okay? First, I have these two pillows I actually got from Walmart. I'm pretty sure they were only $5. This one just says blessed with a little pumpkin. And then this one says hello fall. This is one of the dog's Halloween costume, a little pumpkin and it actually lights up. These two things I'm very excited about because I didn't get until after Halloween last year. There's this little witch that says Happy Halloween. Got it from Goodwill for $1.92. I also got this little sign that says Dead Zone for $1.92 at Goodwill. You'll see more of these towards Christmas, but I'm obsessed with these little window stickers. I have a ton of them for around Christmas time. 
but there's a pumpkin, bat, little haunted house, a ghost. These things are so fun. For my little table centerpiece kind of thing, I have this little net that I got at Dollar Tree. Everything literally smells like cinnamon, I love it. I also have these little eyeballs that I put everywhere, a few skulls, a whole thing of bones, which I laid things out on the floor last year, I'm pretty sure, and things are gonna be really interesting having a puppy because I can't really set things where I set them last year because I'm afraid she's gonna get them. These little eyeballs, I set some of them in like this pot right here, and I feel like she's gonna be able to get them, so I'm gonna have to change where I'm putting everything this year. This guy also goes on my table, just a giant spider, creepy. Oh, I haven't said, but all of this stuff so far, except for these, I wanna say, I got at Dollar Tree. This I also got at Dollar Tree, and this last year I just hung on our mantle right here. I have this little pumpkin and this little pumpkin, I believe I got both of them at Walmart. The dog's little Halloween bandanas. I'm gonna have to get a third one because of Miley. This little guy is so cute. I got him at Dollar Tree and I just hung him up somewhere. I thought he was super cute. I also got these two things at Dollar Tree. This, I wanna say, I just set up in front of our fireplace and then this guy, he looks kind of cheap, but I still think he's really cute. I just hung him up on the wall somewhere. And then the last little bit of the decorations, I have two more little pumpkins. Got those at Walmart. I got these two little candles. I want to say my grandma gave them to me when she came down for Thanksgiving. They smell so good. It doesn't say what scent they are, but they smell so good. And we just had these on the table for Thanksgiving. And then this little basic sign, I want to say I got at Walmart. It just says, I love fall most of all. So yeah, now I just have to figure out where I want to put everything. As soon as Justin got home, he saw the little signs that I put out front and he's like, it's not even October. Like it's not even close to Halloween, but to me it is. So I think we'll go ahead and start decorating. All right, to get, to get the vibes, right? I went ahead and put Jack's Halloween costume on him and he's so happy and Marley's confused. And I'm going to light my favorite fall candle, or one of my fall favorite candles. It's from Yankee Candle. It's the Spice Pumpkin. Literally smells so good. Also, not sure if I mentioned, but these tables are right here because I'm trying to keep Miley off of it. Kind of hard to see but they're done if i remember correctly i have a scarecrow or something that's more fall thanksgiving vibes somewhere but i don't remember where i put them so for now it's just gonna be the halloween ones I didn't show me doing this because it was just literally me laying out a couple things, but I ended up putting this stuff out here for now. Usually those pillows stay inside, but I kind of liked bringing some fall decor outside. I'm not sure if it'll stay like this. I may look for something else to put out here, but this is all that I put outside. And then y'all saw the door already. 
and then I ended up just putting this little vampire right here. I had a picture hanging right here, and I just took it down, and we'll put it back when it's not spooky season. And then the table, obviously, I put like this. I could have sworn I had like a few extra like spiders and things, but apparently I didn't, so I may go buy some more. For the most part, all of my decorations are right here. I did not have it there last year but like i said earlier with the puppy everything is gonna have to be kind of high and in a different spot she was already trying to jump and get those stickers so i had to move them up a little more but yeah i just have those right there i'm pretty sure those were there last year but and the garland was here then i have my happy little halloween sign a little pumpkin a skull my little sign and this little ghost this guy was in the kitchen last year but the hook isn't there anymore so i just put them there for now things may change but and then as i showed y'all i put basically spooky season because last year i put spooky season i maybe i put the year as well but i like having the spooky season on my litter board and i just put basically because it's like basically but like not quite and then i originally had these on the mantle but then i forgot that i put these here last year and I really like them usually I have like little succulents here but they're already dead so I just went ahead and throw these away and just put the little pumpkins there I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog today here now I'm not even sure if I want to keep vlogging the rest of the week because I feel like all that decorating is gonna make this vlog really long so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do but I need to cook dinner because it's 6 30 so hopefully y'all enjoyed me decorating terrible lighting and angle but this is very last minute this is thursday night this video is literally going up tomorrow but i stopped at dollar tree and i got a bunch of stuff so i figured i could include this in this video i'm not going to show y'all where i'm going to put it so you'll just have to watch my later vlogs to see first i got six of these little scarecrows mainly to put in our front yard after Halloween mainly just like for fall, you know, but these can go in our front yard for Halloween. They're little Tombstones one says creepy one says rest in peace. The other one says beware They had these little glow-in-the-dark Skeletons that you stick in the ground, but they were just the arms and I was gonna get those but I didn't get those I have a wreath on the front door and I thought this would be cute if I hung this there instead but I'm like showing y'all, but also showing Justin. I got this little skeleton that I'm gonna hang up somewhere. I also got these little command hooks. I don't know how great they're gonna do because I got them from Dollar Tree, but I got those if I wanted to hang stuff up. I told y'all I love my little jelly stickers, so I had to get these and I'll probably put those on this wall. I thought I had more spiders, but apparently I didn't, so I got two more for the table. They also had a brown color, and they actually look really nasty. Like, they looked real -er than these two, but I didn't get them. I just got these two. This isn't decorations, but I wanted more hair clips. This is mainly for Thanksgiving, but it just says Happy Thanksgiving. I thought it was cute. Last two things, I just got these little pumpkin socks because they happened to be hanging right where the decorations were, and then I got this little towel because I don't have a Halloween kitchen towel. Future me again. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video and you got some inspiration for your decorations or you just got inspired to go ahead and start decorating. I absolutely love decorating for Halloween and Christmas. It's my favorite time of the year. So hopefully y'all enjoyed. If you did, be sure you give this video a thumbs up and you subscribe down below. I post a new video every Tuesday and Friday. So thanks for watching.